Howdy brothers and sisters out there in YouTube land. This here is Grateful Panic. I've got another video for you guys today. And today we are going to be reviewing the Cold Steel Raja 3. And uh, this is a, a really cool knife. I'm, I'm really digging it. And this is courtesy of Brother Gonzo. And I appreciate the crap out of you uh, letting me borrow this brother. It's been an experience. Um, and before we get into the review, let's go ahead and dive into what I was carrying today. And sorry that took so long, but I was reaching behind me to get one of the knives I was carrying today. And, uh, besides this guy, I was also carrying... Secret Agent BH's uh, number 44 Oregon, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, Gunstock. Um, geez Louise, I just had a total brain fart. But uh, his GC number 44, and I'm going to tell you what, just after uh, four or five days of carrying this guy, it's getting some really beautiful patina on the uh, brass bolster and end cap and I'll and also the shield and the pins and I'll get with secret agent BH to see if he wants me to um, polish that up before I send it to him so he can uh, patina it himself or if he wants to leave it patinaed but so far I mean this has been a great little knife um, I love that number 44 and also I was carrying a very dirty uh, Bark River Knives Ultralight Bushcrafter in CPM 3V and black canvas micarta uh, handle scales and that's at well besides the uh, SR S1R baton 2 um, O light that I was carrying. That's all that I was carrying today. And tonight in the what am I drinking segment, I am drinking some uh, Wicked Weed Lieutenant Dank India Pale Ale. And uh, this one's for you, David Vanderstelt. And uh, that's a that's a really good um, adult beverage. There, it's very hoppy, um, it's, but it's still got a good flavor to it. But like I've said, this is not a beer review. It is a knife review. So that leads us to the point where it's time to get down to the nitty gritty, the knife of the hour. The knife that we've all been waiting for, or at least the knife that I've been waiting for, the review knife. And like I said, tonight's review knife is the Cold Steel Raja 3, as I hit the tripod. And the Cold Steel Raja 3 is a really excellent, hard use, kukri style uh, folding knife. And uh, I really dig it. I mean, I really do, and especially uh, once it's been broken in, because you can tell Brother Gonzo has broken this in because the action is slick as butter. I mean, it is nice. But before we get into the meat and taters of this here knife, we got to get the boring stuff out of the way and do some uh, dimensions and materials. And we have an overall length of eight and well it's 8.375 which converts to quarter eight and three eighths inches we have a blade length of three and a half inches we have a cutting edge of three inches we have a blade thickness of 160 thousandths of an inch and uh, we've got a blade material on this one 
of OS 8. It also came in uh, CTS BD1, and I think the current iteration of this knife comes in OS 10A. Uh, the blade style is a Kukri blade style. It's a full flat grind, and uh, it's a nice full flat grind. Really good slicer, really good uh, cutting blade. The blade finish, as you can see, is a stone wash finish, and I love a good stone wash finish. It's got a plain cutting edge, no serrations. It's got a handle length of four and three quarter inches. It's got a handle thickness of 660 thousandths of an inch, which is a little over a quarter, it's like an inch and a quarter plus 35 thousandths. So, I mean, it's a good thick uh, handle thickness. The handle material is a polymer that Cold Steel likes to call uh, Grivex. And uh, I know other knives um, have this same polymer and they call it Grivery. Um, let's see, it has a uh, dual position pocket clip of um, left hand, right hand, tip up only. It is a manual opening knife. There is no assistance there. Um, of course, it is made by Cold Steel, and it is designed by the, uh, the great Andrew Dempko, who is, in my opinion, he's a great knife designer. He designed some really cool knives. Um, he's all about hard use, um, really strong uh, folding knives and this is just a prime example of a production model um, of something that he uh, has designed because I mean this thing is it's ba we'll, and we'll get into that later but it's basically like having a folding fixed blade in your hand um, it's it's a really 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 cool knife and like I said uh, Brother Gonzo has definitely broken this in because the action is butter smooth. I mean, that's a lockback. And it falls like that. That's that's pretty amazing right there. Um, let's get into uh, another specific of this knife. It has the Andrew Demko design triad lock, which is a really innovative back lock in my opinion because if you can see that right there, that little cutout that the uh, lock bar falls into, the backstop or stop pin actually fits into that cutout too. So you've got the lock bar and the uh, stop pin into that cutout, and I mean it's it's an immovable force. You you you're not going to move it. Um, it's just an amazing uh, lock, in my opinion, which I'm a big fan of back locks anyway. But this guy right here, just the strength of it, it, it kind of blows my mind. And uh, another really cool feature of this knife, in my opinion, is this thumb disc or thumb plate, uh, whatever you want to call it, right there and the way it kind of hangs over it's got a waveable feature so when you pull it out of your pocket you know this right here catches on the back of your pocket and pulls the knife open and whereas I don't have a cool story um, like JB did because that was just a hilarious story in my opinion like that that gave me a good laugh I did find myself several times pulling this out to use it and being surprised and thinking to myself, well, how was this knife open in my pocket? And then realizing, okay, well, it waved open. That's what happened. But, um, yeah, it, uh, if you're not thinking about it, it'll get you. And this knife has a really cool Kukri style blade with that, uh, that cool recurve and that big, big belly right there and this thing 
is a cutting and slicing demon. Um, and I mean, it's, it's just the simple fact of, uh, I guess, physics, geometry, um, the shortest point between, or the, sh the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. And this is not a straight line, so it's not the shortest point. So you have, you've got a short distance here, but you have a longer cutting edge. So when you're cutting and slicing, you've got more um, material hitting the uh, slicing material. So of course it's going to cut and slice better. And I mean, this is a prime example of a, a nice little uh, kukri style blade. And I had the um, Raja 2 and I mean, I loved it. It was a really cool knife, but it was so impractical. Impractical. I never carried it. Um, I ca I literally carried it one time, and it was to show a friend of mine, like, look at this huge knife I can pull out of my pocket, and when I do, it's going to be open and going to be even huger. So, I mean, it was like, kind of like a clown car. Like, this little pocket pulls up, and a huge knife comes out of it. Um and I ended up getting rid of it to get more practical uh, knives that, I mean, I, like I said, I love the Raja too. I thought it was just a, the coolest knife in the world, but I mean, I never carried it. So I wanted to get knives that I would carry. And this one right here is like the practical version of the Raja too, which I guess is why they des designated it the Raja 3. And I would totally carry this any day of the week. I mean, this is a very practical knife, a very useful knife, a very strong knife. And uh, I mean, it's a good knife and the price on it is excellent. Um, which I haven't, I know the uh, CTS BD1 and the OS8 models are out of stock. I mean, it, it just seems like it's hard to find period. Um, I know whenever I was actually looking to purchase one, uh, they were around $70, which I mean, for a knife of this quality and this strength, I mean, that that's a great price. And, uh, I mean, look at that action. That's, that's just killer. But, um, I guess, I, I guess they're, they're really kind of hard to find now. I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of, uh, go use my Google foo and try to look this up for you guys and if I find a link to something other than Amazon which if if Amazon is the only uh, place to buy it that I can find I'll definitely drop that link link down in the uh, description but if I can you know find a reputable dealer that is selling the newer version of the Raja 3. I will definitely drop that link in the description. Um, and uh, you know what? I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here because I kind of left out the ergos. Um, you've got a really, really nice um, finger groove here with a little cutout here for your other two fingers and then an e even deeper cutout for your pinky finger and this thing right here just like fits great in your hand and the funny thing is you don't need any jimping because it's got this thumb plate here and it just I mean your thumb just rests on it really good so if you're doing any kind of uh, you know cutting like this or slicing like this I mean that that thumb plate right there just really lends to uh, you know putting extra pressure and it kind of pushes this back into your hand. And I mean, I mean, look at that. That is just the most comfortable fit you could imagine. And I don't know what it is, if it's the width of the handle or or the thickness of the handle or the width of the handle, but when you when you grip it like this, you really don't even feel the pocket clip at all. I mean, I feel like if you were left-handed, well, actually, because you'd be gripping it like that. No, I mean, yeah, you you just really don't.
don't even feel that pocket clip. Um, it's just a very, very uh, comfortable knife to hold. It's very useful. And like I said, it, it cuts and slices like a demon. And uh, let's take a look at this. I mean, the centering is spot on. I mean, this is a like $70 production knife. And the centering is just spot on. The action is spot on. There's no blade play. There's definitely no uh, lock rock because, I mean, this is a triad lock. Unless there's something uh, seriously malfunction with your knife with a triad lock, you're not going to get any lock rock. And no matter how long you have the knife, um, from you know what they say is uh, actually the longer you have the knife, the lock actually breaks in and and fits even nicer and it's not going to get any looser it's just i mean it's going to stay the same uh strength and tightness and if you i mean that's just to me that's a very uh attractive knife that's just a cool looking uh little folder right there i mean you can't beat that that's for for the price you pay and what you're getting i mean you just can't beat that so with that being said, all in all, this knife right here gets the Great Full Panic seal of approval, which, as we know, is one and three quarters thumbs up. And uh, again, I want to thank Brother Gonzo for sending this knife my way and allowing me to carry it and review it. I really appreciate that. And uh, also, one thing I forgot was I had a little mail call yesterday, and I will be reviewing this knife um, in the near future. It is the first knife I've ever handled or owned in LMAX, but uh, I was able to get a good deal on a Wilson Combat Extreme Light Carry in LMAX. And uh, I will be reviewing that guy in the near future. It's a really great knife. Um, the one thing I can say, first impression wise, is LMAX is a devil to sharpen. I mean, that stuff is, it's not easy to sharpen at all. But once you get it good and sharp, it's going to hold an edge for a while. Uh, so definitely look forward to a, a re review on that guy. Um, and I also want to thank Secret Agent BH for the pleasure of carrying and being able to acquire for him the uh, GEC number 44 and uh, we will be reviewing that guy tomorrow so I can get it to uh, JB over at Big Red EDC and he can uh, carry it and review it so uh, if you guys haven't already definitely go over there and check his channel out so you can get his take on this this wonderful, wonderful slip joint knife. And uh, with that being said, guys, this is Grateful Panic signing off. And uh, remember, guys, stay alert, stay alive, and hey, how about do something nice for somebody today? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.